guys, welcome back to another episode of Austria. So guys, we are here back in another good episode where I'm happy to report that we basically have one more year until we get to go back to War of France. And, well, it's really not going to be me who's going to be going to War of France, and I'll explain this in a way, is that I'm pretty sure our good friends the Germans will want to have some good talkings with the French. And by chance, I believe, us, the Honorable Austrians, will have to come to their aid and help them out in a very forceful manner. So, we're going to be prepared for that. Also, in another sense of the way, I just noticed that Italy was knocked out of great power in this. And that made me really happy. So, <laughs> revenge is sweet. I also noticed that for some reason our good vassals of Sicily have not been building up any type of army. Which doth annoy me, so I'm gonna go put my army over there, get them all organized, and let's start. Uh, let's start the series again. Oh, look, you guys want more stuff. Well, I'll get some protective rights for the minorities. I don't remember why I never did that in the first place, but it makes me kind of feel like a jerk. I mean, I know I'm a ruthless dictator, but sheesh, I like to keep everyone equally oppressed. I don't like to discriminate against who I oppress and who I don't, so... Yeah, holy shoot, yeah, Sicily, you're getting out of control. Give me some militaristic access. I'll go clean up your rebel problems, though. Because I'm, I'm nice like that. Wait, give me one second. There we go. Alright, go set my... Wait. Can I... There we go. Sheesh, sometimes the clicking in this game is annoying. Oh, and apparently I'm making an overdose of way too much. Of way too much. So time to lessen taxes onto everyone. Good job, everyone. You guys get less taxes. Less taxes, yeah, yeah. So, it's mostly because my army right now isn't being used to the full amount it should be, but eh, I'll let it slide. There's not really much I can do about it, so let live, let live. And apparently, apparently a small, small arms factory has collapsed. I'm going to instantly reopen it because I kind of need it. Everyone, this should be our top priority. Don't you dare focus on any of this stuff. This stuff is unimportant. In fact, cannery, we don't need to eat. We need guns. That's exactly what we need. We need guns. Oh, I did move the screen slightly, so I'm not sure if that affected the recording. Hopefully it didn't. And the communists have risen up in our good friend, uh, Yugoslavia. Would say I'm surprised, but strangely enough, that seems about right. So, moving on. We have... We have the Germans who are just doing a German thing. They're finally taking advantage of the fact that... That the, uh... That the French... Oh. Oops. Did I not get called into this? Ah, Man, seriously, Germany, you didn't call me into this. Can I Can I get in on this? Can I Can I get in on this? Uh, it. Uh, it seems like it seems like Germany went to war with our good friends the French without me knowing it and I can't really hmm get a place under the sun with the cause of life. You know, I don't mind would there, any, would there even be a place I'd want from, from our good friends? The, uh... No, not really. I don't really want anything from the UK. It's really not... Well, I could probably take the Panama, but... Do I really want to go to war? An entire war risking thousands and thousands of lives. For a stupid reason like that. Eh. Besides, I like Jinduists, so... Let's get more Jinduists in our country, but... Um, yeah, I'm not sure if Germany can actually win this. Um, and that may sound a little bit mean or something, and I admit it does sound like I'm being very, like, uh, cool in that matter, but I don't believe they're going to be able to win this, hands down. They're just not... Okay, if France, basically, if they're really organized, they can beat back, they can beat back Germany almost any time, even when they're fully, even when Germany's fully up and bound, like, even when they're fully united, France can usually win. On the southern side, though, if Germany, if Germany moves quick enough, it usually can overwhelm France, which usually causes, yes, this is for the best, if we do anything, we're gonna mess with everyone else in the world, but, like I said, if Germany moves fast enough, it usually can defeat France, unless France... Unless France is as powerful as it is in this game, which basically I'm telling you that I think yeah, basically if they move fast enough, they could probably beat France. If they don't, then France is gonna eventually whittle them down, which would be very very entertaining to watch. <laughs> we must be honest with you. 
And apparently Ireland did not get destroyed, but they became a satellite nonetheless. Shoot. Ah, I wanted to... Ireland, why did you not build up your relation? Oh, they're communist! Huh? The Irish are communist? That make no sense. Okay. That make no sense. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm... Okay, that happened. Uh, China, you are the Qing Empire. Why are you still together? You should be, like, breaking apart by now. Gosh dang, I've been waiting all game to do this. Like, seriously. I want to steal your land. Break up already. Be not real. Be real China. Break up. Break up. Uh, the game's in the fifth. In the fifth Olympics. Athletes from around the world have gotten our capital complete. Oh, yeah, we got. We had to host that Olympic thing. Yeah, we get prestige. Thank you. Thank you all for, for smothering us with all your athletes. Hopefully we won some events too, but... Uh, yes, it's a good thing. And... <laughs> let's see. Do we have our good friend Spain back on our side? Yes, we do. Yeah. Try to steal us. Try to steal them again, friends, and you see how kindly I'll take to that. You know, you don't steal another person's... Uh, how should you say... Hmm, nah, I'm not gonna say. But anyways, you just don't do that. So, I think what my general strategy here is is gonna be this. I'm gonna let the Brit I'm gonna let the French and the uh, Germans fight it out for like a year. Uh, basically whittle down France's forces to uh, nothing. Holy shoot! Yeah, go get my troops right there. I don't want to lose my vassals. I just got it. Yeah, yeah, go destroy these guys. Thank you. Lockout. Hey, that is unconstitutional. That is kind of unconstitutional. We have. I don't think we have trade organizations organized, do we? Uh, yeah. Trade unions are not allowed in my country, so yeah, that is illegal. So don't do that. I, I don't like that. Apparently, I'm also having some southern trouble with the Balkans. You guys go this way. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess we could include this under here, too. I actually do need a lot of stuff with that on me, too. You guys go down here, start breaking up a lot of these, like counter-revolutionary provinces, mostly because, like, a lot of these people over here think that the Balkans are unstable, which is completely untrue. Alright. I think the war just ended. No, it's still going on. Whoops. I was like, uh, no, I think it ended. No. It's still going on. Let's see how... No, it ended. Okay. That was a very quick war for a very quick amount of time. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, what? Oh, okay. Uh, what? Oh, okay, so our good friends, the uh, hey, America, why did you not join in? This has actually been a perfect time for you guys to join in. Gosh, dang it. So, um, apparently the mighty rulers of the UK thought it'd be a good idea to start an entire world war over Tongo. Huh. You know, I've heard some really stupid reasons to start a great war, like the assassination of an archduke, but, like, starting a region over just a little tiny province in Tongo? I don't know what you're on, but that's... Give me some of that! <laughs> Uh, but what that generally means is that the people in Iraq are again unsafe because as we know they have good access through our lands over here due to Afghanistan and this is where this is actually generally where most of the British troops are so yeah I'm basically saying is that whoever's on this continent is probably gonna get wiped out so um yeah that's not good but the good news is is that this gives us a comp this is a great war right? So that means no matter what we do, no matter what we try, this is going to end in somebody dying. Or, better way of saying it, this is going to end in somebody, like, being broken up, which is what I like. So, yeah, I'm happy of this! Bring the war on, J you, J you British! Wow, that, that... Again, somebody's really got to leave better curse words or better slang terms. Yes, thank you, United States, for accepting my alliance after I needed your help! Like, you guys would have been the perfect people to go invade Canada. I mean, we have little- you have troops literally on the border. Why did you not- ah.
Why were you not my ally at the point? Or if you were my ally, why did you disaccept? Uh, anyways. So, as expected, this war is going to say that we're equal, mostly because of the UK's mighty strength and and probably a little bit of Canada's, but really this isn't an equal war, because most likely France, j the UK won't do anything, okay? Oh, ooh, wait a minute, we can actually use this to our advantage. Hey, Ireland! <laughs> Would you give us military access? Aw, oh, thank you guys! So, hmm... We could potentially have a good hiding spot to to launch a future invasion over our good friends, the uh, British. Hmm. I just learned something new today, so yes. <laughs> oh shoot. Uh, you got that under control, Romania, right? Do I need to come in there and go help you? Yes. So, with this a newfound uh, luck we found, I should start using it to the utmost of my ability, but. It's gonna be pretty hard to like uh, do stuff because the British do have a pretty powerful army over here. I'm not even gonna deny, but let's see. If we were to ferry troops from my continent to Spain, then from Spain all the way to Ireland, then from Ireland we could then use it to go and advance the UK. We could easily destroy the UK in almost. A fraction of the amount of time it would take for me to just go destroy them all on their uh, col their uh, colonial lands, which, by the way, they still don't they still don't have a big enough army to fight me down here, which is annoying because I would have thought by now they would have gotten an actual decent sized army to come and just you know fight me. Apparently not. They're apparently idiots. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. Um, as I said, there is no point in trying to conquer British in. Uh, British India, not even going to try to defend that land either. No point. No point at all. Um, but the one thing I am worried about, though, is the fact that we don't have naval supremacy. Uh, and we honestly could if I really tried to, but uh, we don't have naval supremacy in any of our, in any of this land outside of here, so it's going to be very difficult for us to do a lot of stuff. France, which give us military access. I know we don't like each other. Oh, why do we have a war for Unit? I almost want to do this just because. Just because I want to make the Germans mad. But I know it won't, it won't pay off in the end. But anyways, yeah, they really got... If Whoever's the maker of that mod, please fix that. Because I should not have events to like unify Germany at this point in the game. Especially since I couldn't even do it in the beginning. So, yeah, somebody's got to fix that. Anyways... What we're going to do is we're just going to casually load up most of our troops onto barrels. Barrels, not barrels. I mean, uh, transports. Definitely, transports definitely safer than barrels, but, uh, we will press our claim. Uh, did they? Oh, shoot. Portugal, you did something, didn't you? Uh, okay, I'll have, I'll have Spain deal with it. Um, no, oh, wait, I can't do it yet. Okay, what do we have a cause of against you guys even for? Okay, could we have a cause of against you guys? Why? Oh, you had a revolution. Ah, I see. You probably became very democratic. And that's probably making me very mad. So, ah, that makes sense. So, yeah, let's go start picking up all of our armies. At least a good chunk of them. I don't need all of my armies to go fight this war. Uh, let's see, is Britain sent in any more army that would actually be worth my 51 death stack fighting? No. They're just, they're just not going to send anything to the colonies. They're going to let them die. Smart move. They do realize I am a powerful person in the colonies. So, um, what we mainly have to worry about is the fact that the British did own Gibraltar. Well, that makes my life a lot easier. And since we both we own both Gibraltar and the Suez Canal, we have control of both the regions where they could enter in and try to mess us up. We're basically scot-free for like, ever. Oh, no! Mm. No, you guys go back here. I need you guys back here, and now since the two Sicilies can now stop fighting their own battles, I don't have to be so attentive. Uh, speaking of which, is that your guys' capital? Because I can't tell. No, that's your guys' capital. You guys should be able to deal- Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to go fight these guys on time. Okay, go right here, then go right there. No, go right here, then go right there. Never mind, just go right there! Uh, these guys are going to be able to handle all these rebels, so I won't have to deal with that. Alright, you guys get on these boats, and we're going to start ferrying you guys across to Barcelona. 
because Barcelona is apparently where everyone hangs out. So let's go fade to Barcelona. Okay, as it comes down to Portugal... Oh yeah, Morocco's in this war. Hmm. Morocco... You are an idiot. <laughs> On all accounts, I never thought you guys would be the stupidest... You guys should not be in this war. This, this war is beyond your abilities, I should say. I mean... Really, there's no, no way else to say it. And actually, there won't be that many people in this crisis. So let's see, is anyone actually going to join this crisis? Probably not, because, like, I mostly me and the other people will be the only ones who care about this crisis. Okay, so let's see. What do you have you guys start setting up a good front right back here? It seems like the Spanish actually control most of this canal. We do have some scary ships over here. Ah, oh, man, I'm going to have to... I'm probably going to have to create my own army. Hey, you guys... Idiots, spread out. Spread out your army. Spread out. Yeah, I, I don't... Wait, why, why do we still got some army men that aren't combined? Okay, we'll get the, get the dominant death stacks. Let's see. Uh, uh, 45k right here. Yeah, you guys go right there. Okay, wow. Can't believe I forgot to spread everyone out or forgot to combine them. Okay, do we split everyone up? There's still like one big army in here. I can't exactly see it. There it is. Okay, you guys, go that way. Go! Go and be free! Oh man, it seems like I completely forgot, I completely neglected a lot of parts, like I completely forgot to like, uh, get some new cannons for that troops. Hmm. So that does make me kind of worry that maybe we should do a massive cannon production, because we are about to go to a war against a more powerful enemy, and I just realized I don't have any horses in that division. What have I been doing with my troops? Okay, let's also build some tr let's also build some horses, which are apparently abundant in my country. I mean, we literally have more horses than we have anything else. So yeah, build like six horses, and I guess I'll pick them up last. Uh, watch now, you guys want an alliance? Why? Oh, you want a peace offer? Uh, if if I don't have to pay you anything, yes. Yes, okay, we get you out of this war pretty quickly, because you don't need to be in this war. You're a little tiny country that just got crossed, that just, just got caught in the crossfire. I don't even know why you would be in this war to begin with. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we're not going to pick up you guys yet, because you guys are an incomplete unit. The black shirts, uh, no, cram them down. Yeah, seriously, destroy the Nazis already! I don't want them in my country! Ah. Yeah, what's so hard about that to understand, people? I don't like them. So, we're also dealing with a little bit of uh, money woes, but I, when I say little, I really mean not that big at all. Oh, Canada, you're actually trying to do stuff. Huh. Are you guys trying to do stuff down here? No. They're being still lame. Well, I'm just going to go siege down Lagos. That way I have it underneath my control. Let's see, is there anything I have to worry about over here? Nah, they have basically nothing. Ah. <sighs> Siam might actually be a trouble. Oh, Siam, you're actually trying to do stuff. Huh. Do I care enough to go send men down there? Nah. Let's get back to the to the real battles. Uh, this is going to be a massive slaughter over here. Hopefully they don't have access to Russia. Otherwise, that might actually prevent some uh, interesting details, which would be fun for me to deal with. Yeah. Morocco's going to be probably the next nation to fall, though. Uh, I'm gonna go deal with the stupid Canadians who got too big for their britches, apparently. It's like, why would you ever, 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 yeah, at least, I'll give them credit though. They are trying to win this war, and I give them credit, they are trying. But for the fact that they're trying, they must be eliminated. <laughs> uh, yes, seriously, America, come in, this is your chance to invade Canada. You must seize this opportunity. Yes! Good job, America. You learn and know when it's time to go invade Canada. Now, go kick the Canadians' ass. Okay? Go kick their ass. And I'm just going to go destroy their troops right here. Because I don't even know why they're trying to invade. I have a way better... Like, Britain has a way stronger navy, but... Navies don't honestly win your wars. Troops do. If you have a stronger amount of troops... You can honestly bypass the uh, Navy question. You just have to be really slick about it. And I'm definitely worried about our Navy, but now that we have America on our side, our Navy should be a lot better. And the Boxer Rebellion... I thought it already happened. 
Seriously, I'm about to make the boxes pay me. And I think I just enacted no trade unions. Oh, shoot. Uh, no, they're still around, but I might have done something to make people want no trade unions. So, anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. First day of the good, uh, Great War. It started in 1812. I did not intend for that to happen, but yeah. Great war, everyone. See you guys next episode.